Hi Aquarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. So we're going to be doing your 1 to 7 September read. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and you what doesn't resonate from our personals. Reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I also do white ray based spells for is good. We have energized, pure intention charge, high vibrational, best quality, great crystals available. Check out my Instagram, follow my Instagram for more stuff and free predictions every month. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your signs and on rising or Venus. <coughs> signs and Aquarius are dealing with one. Let's see the messages to you. <coughs> Five of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Empress. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, no, please. Oh my God. The Emperor and the Empress, consecutive. <clears throat> Let me assure you one thing that you will have an upper hand over your soulmate. But there seems to be a higher level soulmate or twin flame connection. Your life has changed. I'm sensing that this wheel of fortune is talking about life being changed. Like 180, there's a shift in your life already. You feel like you have laid a solid foundation. You have your own, you know, uh, name, your standards. And you're not desperate for love or anything like that, but you are looking for your perfect match, perfect partner. <clears throat> I'm sensing you reaching out to this person. I'm sensing you're the one that might make an offer towards them, but hesitantly, sweetly, softly. So I'm sensing that this person is someone that is very, very successful and an authority. You both could be 50 plus or you both could be in 40s or even 30s. You never know. But what I'm sensing, one important thing is you both are very, very successful <clears throat> or will be. Because when you meet your perfect match, when you meet your soulmate, when you meet your higher level soulmate or you can say twin flame, you definitely become more successful. Your vision becomes more clear. Your life purpose is more clear and you become more focused. All this while you have been feeling alone, trying to work things out in your life. There were financial issues in the past, but you have found a niche for yourself. You have become successful, Aquarius. And I feel in this energy, I'm seeing maybe before October, I'm seeing you reaching out to this person more. You will have feelings for them or it's just an initial phase, the crush phase. Cancer, Sagittarius or Aries involved. The Ten of Pentacles. This connection is clearly involving marriage here. Guys, there's no doubt in this. I'm sensing it's a very, very clear, smooth energy. There are no challenges. Challenges are gone. Problems have gone out of your life. It's time for you to manifest abundance. This relationship will take you towards extreme abundance. Do you know this thing? It does not matter you reach out to this person first or they reach out to you. It's just that you both will feel so connected for the first time that you both won't feel like it's a uh, responsibility or something. It will happen smooth. It will happen naturally. Beautifully. You both are rich and you both will get richer. I'm seeing you both opening a company or you're both working in partnership as well. For some of you, not all obviously, but you can be very, very successful in whatever careers you are. Okay. Someone is a Pisces maybe. But the problem over here is the page of wands, like you are taking slow steps towards it. You're cautious. You're worried like, okay, maybe this is 
not gonna look nice maybe i should wait for this person to reach out to me you know you have this thing going on in your mind that maybe i'm hurting too too much i should wait i should let it happen naturally you have a lot going on in your mind like how is this person going to perceive maybe it's not right maybe i should wait you know a lot of things are going to just stop thinking and make a move this person is already aware that there's something between you and them there's something that can emerge between you and them they're already aware of this thing and they know that you're about to make a move or they know that you like them or you will like them i'm seeing both of you are going to come towards each other strongly there's an aggressive energy wanting each other desperate for each other you've never been so desperate for anyone else this person has never been so desperate for anyone else you both are mirroring you both are connected so strongly that you know this is a past life connection definitely this is a past life connection some of you are going to block the past person eight of swords is like you're done with the past anything from the past is going to remain in the past now let it go i'm sensing the past person wanting to reach out but you're not giving them a shot yes there's someone from the past missing you if this person is someone from the past that is very successful that you and them are on the same page you look uh very much like similar you're like a perfect match then this is a person okay but what i'm sensing is you're about to have a new beginning in your life and there's a double confirmation of marriage here is a double confirmation this is like a dream come true aquarius someone is in public eye or someone is extremely famous all right what else some of you are still talking to the past person you need to come out of that completely because that will destroy your current energy or block you from moving on to this person i feel there's an important decision that you're meant to take if you really want this person if you're still sticking on to the past expecting them to reach out to you it will give you a lot of pain a lot of mental problems time to come out heal i feel like you're still in this healing period right now actually aquarius but things have started to move forward pretty fast this is your dream come true this is a relationship you were asking for i'm seeing you guys will start communicating with each other one of you had a major major heartbreak in the recent past i'm seeing them making efforts towards this connection i'm seeing there is a lot of lust between the two of you i'm seeing a new chapter in the life opening up i'm also seeing new opportunities and growth will also open side by side so a lot of good news coming in your way sagittarius some of you dealing with one yes stop thinking too much i feel like you're still you know why you might be waiting is because you're guessing about this connection how it will turn out or you want this person to reach out or you're still trying to come out of the past drama going on still <clears throat> the strength the queen of swords and the seven of cups yeah you're finding the courage you're actually trying to muster the strength to let this person know that you want to talk or you are interested in taking things forward so there's a ma major message that you may need to reach out to this person because if you don't make efforts this might not go anywhere and the potential over here is like 90 by 10 successful marriage yes justice positive card positive card it could be a libra but what i'm sensing is this connection definitely ends up into something really fruitful don't sit and wait for this person to reach out to you i'm sensing this person is also planning to reach out 
but they are also someone that will take approval of their family members or they just want uh, to think whether this connection can go forward towards marriage. I feel this is someone that is definitely thinking about marriage as well. They're a little uh, shy. That's also what I'm seeing. This could be a Taurus. You're not shy. This person is shy. They're also confused. Especially if you're married, then they're very confused. But if you're not married, then they're definitely confused whether you want to get married to them or not. This person is already thinking about it. There are no signs from you, actually. You guys could be belonging to the similar culture, background, tradition. Three of Cups, there's a possibility of them sending you a message through a friend of friends, through a mutual friend. They want to tell you that they're in love with you. Yes, they are. They've just left a relationship or marriage in the recent past. I feel, or oh, they lost someone in the recent past. They're really scared of hurting you or losing you to someone else. And they're also worried that you will not choose them or you walked away or you will walk away. They have this fear. So in their mind, there's a lot of chaos going on. Oh, is this Aquarius coming or will I lose them? So I'm seeing them also reaching out to you. You both are equally on the same page. I feel you both are planning on reaching out to each other. <clears throat> it's a source a new beginning expect this person to propose you in a very mild manner yeah there you go they have been rejecting a lot of love offers this person is waiting on you, basically. They want to take things forward. Deep love. This could be a Gemini. Yes, yeah, so they're thinking of a new beginning with you. I feel like they're going to be... You guys are going to travel or you guys are going to go out on a date. This is your soulmate. There's a confirmation. This is not just a soulmate connection, guys. This is a higher level soulmate connection. Both of you are planning to take this step forward. Yes, families will be involved. A message may come from a family member to another family member. That's also there. Yes, there's a beautiful courtship happening. There's a beautiful dating period. That's that's about to begin <clears throat> unrequited love keep an open mind some of you are still not over the past person are still trying to come out of it when this happens you will meet someone new i feel like it's time for you to disconnect for the self-respect sake and you're about to meet this person. Your true love, your actual partner, you, you know, your soulmate from your past life, your higher level soulmate from your past life is coming. All that glitters is not gold. Maybe you still have feelings for the past person, but they're not meant for you. They don't have positive feelings for you. You are trying to mend the connection with the past person or the past person is trying to mend the connection with you. But what you are doing is, I feel like you're you're moving on and mending connection with the new person actually, not the past person. Someone is 38. Yes, you can't trust this person from the past. It's time that you release. Hmm. A new romantic cycle, probably with a Libra. And yes, see, I was telling you, you guys will be making the first move here. Energy is gaining momentum. The past is behind you. Oh my gosh, this is a clear confirmation, is a clear clarifier. 
that the past is behind you it's time that you take into consideration this new love take action towards them you are the one that needs to take an action towards them this person is completely safe their family is very loving and kind they could be a cancer or a virgo i feel like uh, you have this this person wants to give you a lot but first i feel it's time for you to give this person uh, a special treatment they find you extremely attractive though yes you guys have been good friends so you guys will be very good friends very chill with each other oh my gosh this is going to be a mm, deep intimacy between the two of you yes the connection is building based on the healthy communication so it's very important that you, you communicate your feelings to this person before someone else does it teaching someone is a teacher here i feel your person is a teacher here let's see the signs coming in we have capricorn we have aries we have leo sun moon rising or venus signs and we have libra very strongly libra coming in guys okay now let's see from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you aquarius please Aries is like I feel like this person is uh, recently heartbroken, so that is why they're not taking a chance with you. There's something that has happened in the recent past. The Taurus is planning on making a move, but more than that, they're overthinking things. The Gemini is very much in love, fully. Cancer wants you to also make efforts towards them. Leo. Leo is trying to hide their feelings I'm sensing. Virgo. Virgo is confused about their feelings. Libra. Libra has options. They're talking to other people right now, but or this person is waiting on you actually. Yeah, they're waiting on you, but they have options that they're rejecting. Scorpio. Feeling lost. Done over. Game over. Sagittarius is going to come with a communication, very attracted. Capricorn is going to come with a ring, or most probably, or they're just going to propose you directly. Aquarius has been obsessed with you, thinking about you 24-7. Pisces, overtly thinking and not taking action, very anxious and worried. Will you reach out or do you like them or not? They have a lot of that going on in the head yeah some of you are scorpio maybe scorpio is who you're leaving behind or this person is scorpio someone is very famous over here or will be getting fame through instagram on instagram or any social media site someone's name is graham uh gaffon or anything like someone's from ghana so greece honduras Hungary, Uruguay, Germany, Russia, Holland, Vietnam, Venice, America, Argentina, a lot of countries guys, not just one, not just two, three, four, a lot of countries, someone's from Gangtok, India. I'm also seeing China. I feel like this person is someone that's very, very sophisticated. You both, you guys will look like a very sophisticated couple, you know, uh, that has an impact in society in some way. Uh, this is a spiritual bond, very strongly. I'm seeing this is a spiritual connection. You'll see a lot of feathers or synchronicities when this person comes into your life. Someone's like from Hamburg. Someone's from Italy. 
Australia. The pearl. Maybe they're going to gift you a pearl or something. The pearl is coming twice. So this person is fond of pearls or you're fond of pearls. Or pearl is also a sign of sophistication, fame and name. Someone's name could be Raghav. Wow. Gilbert. Someone's from Armenia. Yeah. Someone's name is like Wallace, Valerie, Vanessa, anything like that. So these could be initials G and A, R, B, and H in your name or your person's name. This person keeps checking on your Instagram, seeing what you, just your pictures extremely fond of you so that's about it guys i hope you've enjoyed this beautiful lovely read and yes someone could be from paris someone could be from france or is talking like you guys are in a very deeply romantic connection in the future you guys will travel around the world someone's name could be ralph orlando racial gretchen something like that uh something like that so that's about it i hope you enjoyed it do not forget to like share subscribe and come back for more i'll see you back bye